Hello sir, my name is Dhawal Pandav. I am from collegedinner.com. A very warm welcome to our interview series which is called Thoughts on Education where we interview with the various dignitaries such as owners, VCs, principals, HODs and teachers. Before I proceed with this interview, I would request you to give a brief introduction about yourself. Hi Dhawal, uh, I am Dr. Akhlin Siddiqui and presently I am working as Head of Department of Mechanical Engineering in this college. Uh, basically, I am uh, BE from Mumbai University, done from Sabu Siddiqui College of Engineering. Subsequently, I did my Master's in Machine Design from Sardar Patel College of Engineering, Andheri and I completed my PhD in Active Vibration Control in the Mechanical Field from Mumbai University with uh, FCRIT as the Research Centre. So, my research areas uh, basically include uh, Automobile Engineering, uh, Machine Design, Mechanical Vibration, Active Vibration Control. I have published numerous uh, papers in journals and presented papers in conferences also. And uh, let me tell you, teaching is my passion. It was really nice knowing about you and your experience. Huh? So my first question is uh, you have held key position at education institute throughout your professional career so what keeps you connected with the education sector and how has been your experience so far with this institute uh, as i said my passion is teaching so that keeps me connected but uh, in in education sector there has been lots of transformation that has taken place over the years uh, this is my 25th year in teaching so i have seen right from the changes in the pedagogical of the way te teaching is taking place similarly in terms of technological advancements that have come in the engineering field so even the curriculum the curriculum structure everything is changing to cater to these requirements and uh, at the same time yes the, the the variety of the students that we are getting now the different uh, spread of the students the type of the students that we are getting that is also changing continuously so this keeps me very much like uh, abreast with the things and uh, at the same time yes technological challenges we are addressing so these are the factors that have, that has kept me connected my my association with uh, various institutions had been uh, very very dynamic being the hod at uh, fcrid what are your roles and responsibilities sir uh, an hod basically is required to provide a visionary leadership to the department. My responsibilities are curriculum design, curriculum development, providing opportunities to faculty for their development and creating an environment for the students for their overall growth. Now that growth will be academic, uh, overall uh, as far as co-curricular, extracurricular activities are concerned, creating an environment for that. It is like I would say uh, providing them uh, uh, an environment for their overall holistic development and their growth. Uh, since we are uh, autonomous college, so, how does the curriculum of uh, FCRIT ensure the students are being practiced? Uh, yes, in autonomy, we have worked a lot as far as the curriculum development is concerned. Everybody says that mechanical engineering has not remained what it used to be. It is not just, it is not a core branch. But let me tell you, mechanical engineering has evolved a lot over. We are taking care of that in the in our autonomy. People talk about uh, emerging areas. So, mechanical engineer caters to that area. You talk of defense area, you talk of semiconductor uh, production that we are now, India is moving ahead. With, with the support of the government. So their mechanical engineers definitely will be required, but they have to be enabled with those technologies. They have to be taught those subjects. So in our curriculum, in our autonomous curriculum, we have provisions where mechanical student will not be studying just the core subject of thermal design manufacturing, but he will be studying automation. He will be studying robotics. He will be studying AIML. He will be studying uh, IoT subjects. These are the honors courses that we are offering. At the same time, we are also offering them hands-on training. Uh, some part we are covering in the curriculum, some part we are uh, uh, tying up with the industry to provide them hands-on training in the form of certificate courses, short-term training programs. So these things we are taking care of so that the core mechanical engineer is enabled and he delivers in the field that he is uh, supposed to. What would you like people to know about your institute they may not know? Uh, everybody knows we are very very uh, like uh, strict maybe I would uh, say not exactly strict but the discipline has been our key area our USP but apart from discipline we have got a very good industry liaison we have got very good placements we provide opportunities for students not only in academics and research but also their overall growth. Our students have been doing marvelously as far as uh, non-technical areas are also concerned. So every area you get opportunities. So as I said, overall holistic development is that uh, we, we try to do. Any suggestion you would like to give to the current youth and aspiring students? Yes, you have to uh, focus on your area, but at the same time, think out of the box. Take up challenges, be open-minded, interact with people. Okay, don't remain isolated because professional students are supposed to be more interactive. At the same time, pursue your passion, pursue your dreams, but at the same time, be flexible, o be open to new ideas and be open to take new challenges. That would be my suggestion. It was a pleasure talking to you and interviewing on Thoughts on Education, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you.